What's up guys, Smashbeast here and welcome back to another video. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> Is this video being made in front of a live audience or something? <laughs> but there's no audience anywhere. What? what? <laughs> Where is this coming from? Oh. Fine. You want me to film this in front of a live audience? How about we build something suitable? Like Monica's apartment from Friends. <gasps> oh, shut up. So this build took around seven hours in total, which isn't too bad. I thought it was gonna take quite a bit longer. And you'll notice I'll starting off by using some purple instead of blue for the walls. For some reason, I thought it was purple. Then I looked at some photos. I was like, I'm an idiot and changed it all to sort of light blue color, as you can see here. Now of all the different aspects of this flat, the thing that took the longest by far was the kitchen. If you look at a photo of the kitchen, there are just so many things in it, like so many different items and shelves with stuff on them and just clutter everywhere, which made it quite interesting to build all this stuff. Also, the kitchen was the only place that had quite an awkward angle and that was where the window is in the corner. It's sort of at a diagonal angle. So I had to add that in as well and try and make it as accurate as possible. But it's a really weird, strange angle. So it may look a bit strange at first when you see me building it. Now, this is not one of the hardest things I've ever built. However, when I'm referencing stuff, normally I just sort of loosely follow it. Whereas with this, I wanted to make it look as realistic as possible. So I was trying to follow every single aspect apart from some of the decorations because they were just too small to build. Making this quite a difficult challenge as there is just so much detail in here and also it's kind of a bit weird because part of the flat is missing obviously for where the audience would watch through so I had to sort of fill that in and I kind of had this floor plan which I'll put on the screen now and as you can see it sort of fills out what is in those missing spaces but as for like paintings on the walls I just sort of improvised and made it up as I went along and as for the paintings you'll see that I do place around I don't actually go into detail in those paintings, I just sort of add in some stained terracotta, the fancy terracotta stuff, to make it look a bit more like a painting than just a blank canvas. But let's be real, who watches Friends and notices the colour of the painting in the background, or what's on it? Because I didn't recognise a single one of those, and I've seen the entire series through about three or four times. Now as we move away from the kitchen, you'll see I make quite a big blunder, and that is forgetting that it has that sort of raised platform. I kind of just completely forgot about that and just started building it the way it was. However, I did realize my mistake at one point and you'll see me kind of improvise and just sort of raise the floor up a little bit and it didn't really change too much or affect me too badly. Thank goodness, because otherwise I would have just waited about 40 minutes worth of building. And yes, although you'll see it is blank at the moment, I do go through at the end and add in the bathroom and two of the bedrooms, which I had multiple problems with, but I'll go through that when we get to it. Instead, we're building this little hallway down here, which I think has a little doorway for a cupboard at the end. It was kind of hard to tell from all the pictures and stuff, and they don't really go down there very often. So I just sort of put a little door in thinking, eh, that'll be fine. You'll see there, the raised platform has been added in and it doesn't make a huge difference, thank goodness. For the rug in the center, I was gonna try and make the rug as accurate as possible, but I just did the black outline and then just did this flowery pattern in the middle instead of working on making it completely accurate because I don't think it matters too much. As for the sofas though, I did try and add on the cushions which are famously on there and they change a lot throughout the series, but I just used the ones that I was using for this photo, which were kind of really awkwardly placed and weird colors. And also this is Minecraft so it's kind of hard to add something in that looked soft and comfortable so it kind of looks a bit rigid and awkward but that's okay. Now the main thing I noticed about this apartment as I was building it is that every single piece of furniture is different in color, in shape, in every single way which is fun for like them I guess because they've just sort of got them some random bits of furniture and shoved it in there but when you're building stuff and you can't repeat stuff and you just have to do everything unique kind of a bit of a pain and it's also a bit mismatched. You've got like glass tables, you've got wooden tables that are light in colour, some that are dark in colour. Same with the photo frames, some are light in colour, some are dark in colour. It, it changes up and I sort of just mixed and matched them on the walls that you can't normally see when we are watching the TV show. We've moved on to building the window now, which oh my gosh was a massive pain because who the heck 
has diagonal windows anymore. I mean, come on, it was so annoying to build, especially in Minecraft, I had to do each little block individually and it just took forever. But we got there in the end and I think the final effect looks pretty accurate to how it was in the TV show. Although some things are missing, such as the blinds, although I did add in the curtains. So what you're seeing here is the wall that I've been talking about where you just have no idea what it looks like because it just doesn't exist as that's how they film the TV show. And there's probably some stuff in here that you don't recognize as well as it just changed a lot throughout the series, I think. I think they changed stuff up and redecorated it slightly. But I just went off this one picture I had. I also added the TV in there. As in the picture, it didn't have the TV, but I remember them having a TV there, so I put in a TV. I also added in a ceiling, which it doesn't have in the TV show, as it's just the studio lights, which meant that I didn't put any lights in either, because there aren't any. Anyway, let's move on to the outside, where we've got that little patio they have, which I put a little wall, some tables, and some flowers on, as I kind of can't remember what was on there and I didn't really go and look. And then we moved on to Monica's room which was reasonably easy to build as there was lots of reference pictures that I could find for this. The other room however, not so easy as it turns out there's not many references for that room and it's also quite hard to google as I think they redecorated it for each different person that lived in there and there's quite a few that lived in there. So I went off the floor plan that I had but here is Monica's room, it's kind of got that white bed, some mix matched furniture like the rest of the flipping apartment and once again there there is a wall missing in the TV show for this room so I sort of improvised and I added in like a little wardrobe which I think is there but I'm not entirely sure. Also I apologise if the colours are slightly off in this, it's because it's really hard to get the colours that match the walls that are in the TV show as not every single colour exists in Minecraft unfortunately. The amount of mods I had you'd think I'd be able to find the right colours but no, I searched far and wide and these are the best that I could come up with. Moving on to the second bedroom now which is very awkward to build because I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's not there where the actual set is. I'm not entirely sure how it works but I'm pretty sure this is not that. I added in this like lime green bed as that was what was in the floor plan and gave it some decorations but once again very tricky to decorate as I didn't really know what I was doing in this room. And then finally we have the bathroom which is very simple to decorate as it's a very simple room and there is some reference images that I could use. We had the bathtub, the sink and the toilet. Very simple, very easy. Now we are finished building, I guess there's only time for one little thing. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. That, that, that's enough of that. I'll show you around the build now. So unfortunately, there's actually no way into the apartment at the moment as I put this solid door in, which has the famous back of the door little peephole bit here. So we get some nice aesthetic, but it also means there's no escape. And this is the entrance from when you walk in. The audience would be like over here sort of thing from this angle. But we can have a look at some stuff up close. This you never really see in the TV show. I'm pretty sure this is not here. But if you look on the floor plan, there was something that looked kind of like this here. So I just added this in. I think this is where the audience is as well. This whole side is just cut off. But here we have the kitchen, which is so cluttered. Oh my gosh, we got some plates on the wall, we got some pans and wooden spoons and coffee maker, which I've made all of this, apart from the oven. The oven is actually just one solid block from the Mr. Crayfish mod. We've got like a little lamp here, we've got all this stuff under here. The table, which is just a regular old table with lots of different style chairs on it. These are again just Mr. Crayfish chairs. I sort of Minecrafted this bit as I thought it'd be quite cool instead of making all the chairs individually because you can actually sit on these and it becomes usable. And if you notice in the photo, they're all different types of chairs as well. This whole thing is just a mishmash of furniture. Then we've got the window here which overlooks out the streets below, which is just grass at the moment. And there's some weird curtains that hang from here. And there's also a little bit under underneath where I think they store stuff like the bins. We have the fridge with a cabinet, there's some photos stuck on the fridge. And then we got this wooden beam which I never really noticed before but it was in the photo so I added it in. Plus some other stuff, there's lots of stuff you just never really notice in the background. Like a little table here, we've got like a speaker with a plant on top of it. This is meant to be like a man on a horse. It was too small, so I just did that. And then we got this little corridor down here where we got all these little pictures on the wall. There's nothing on this wall. I'm not sure if there is anything on this wall, but you can't see it anyway normally, so they don't really show it very often. Then you hop outside and you got the little patty up front where you can look down on New York. Whoa, it's so far down. Ah, yeah, there's just not. Let's stop that. Then we got this sort of little window bit over here. This is where Rachel sat when Ross called her when they were on a break. You know what I mean? You know the episode. There's also a little desk here, which I'm not sure 
is in a lot of the episodes, but it was in the photo that I referenced. We've got the TV unit over here with some flowers, painting behind it, and then we got the main sofa area with a little stool on this chair as well, which you don't really see very often, but I think is there in the set. And then we got the main two sofas as well where everyone sits, plus the center table. And this is the wall here where I sort of just improvised as there's just no wall there. A little table in, not entirely sure what to do. But moving on, we have the bathroom over here where we've got the little towel rail. I added in a little curtain rail. I didn't want to cover the bath, so I just put it on the left-hand side here. This is a weird shower head, but trust me, it's a shower head. And then I don't know what that is. I think it's just some brown stuff. There was something circling in the photo, so I decided to add something in. And then we got the toilet to the sink and then a mirror as well, which doesn't work. Maybe I should have added in one that actually does work. I think I can do that. There we go. It doesn't actually show me, but it shows the rest of the bill behind you, which is pretty cool. And then moving on, we go to Monica's bedroom, which has this sort of little table and chair here. This one is a Mr. Crayfish chair, so you can just sit down in it properly. I'm trying to show you that, but it doesn't seem to want to let me. Every angle is too close. And we've got this wardrobe, a window, bedside tables, this lamp. Oh gosh, that's gone wrong. What's happened there? There we go, that's better. I put the image on screen now. You can see the one that I referenced. A few things are off but I think I did an okay job. And then finally, we have the second bedroom, which has got this sort of little weird little wall parting here. I think it's so they could show the room from this sort of angle over here, and you could see that there was a painting behind here, but there was actually not a room here. And then we got the weird green bed that was in the floor plan, plus some paintings, a sort of desk here, which you can sit in and use to to do your makeup and stuff, which is lovely. And another little table here. Really didn't know what to put in this room either, so it's just kind of a bit weird. But there you have it, the apartment from Friends. Let me get the angle that you'd normally see them from. It's sort of like this angle here, or there's like this angle over here as well, this side too as well. It's kind of all a bit weird and all over the place. But this here is sort of the usual angle you'll be used to seeing in the TV show. So, how do you think I did? Do you think I did a good job? Let me know in those comments down below. People always ask me to put these builds up to download and unfortunately I can't because I use a load of different mods in them and I'd have to make a mod pack and I'm not allowed to make a mod pack as you have to get permission from everybody. And some modders just don't want you to do that. But I hope you enjoy looking at them nonetheless. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this little tour of Monica's apartment from friends. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did. And if you're new around here, click that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.